Every year we dig a little bit deeper into the data and the research that we capture with the surveys from employers around the world. And right now we're still running the MEA and APAC parts of the program but with North America this year for 2018. One of the, we, I had a conversation with a large consumer-based company who went through the program this year that, that also won a candy award. And we were talking about how at the point of interview rejection, they really wanted their recruiting teams in the future to, to pick up the phone more and call the candidates at the point of rejection after the interview stage. And so I started digging into the data a little bit more. And one of the things that we found that was interesting um, is that this year, 60%, 6-0, of the candidates say they got an automated email rejection after the interview stage, automated. Now I thought, and I wasn't that surprised, but a little surprised. It, it drops down to 22% for those who got a personal email from a hiring manager and or recruiter. That's, that's okay but it's only a whopping 10% of candidates who got a phone call at the point of interview rejection. Now what's more interesting about this is when you look at how they rate their experience. So those candidates who got the automated email rejection at the point of interview rejection, they rated it both on the overall rating that we asked them to give and just the interview rating itself was around 2.5 out of five on a Likert scale, which is really low. It's kind of, it's below even middle of the road for a lot of the data we see. It jumps to 3.4 out of five when they get a phone call. That's a 32% increase in positive sentiment overall. A big jump. It is stuff that we look at every year, but as we dug a little bit deeper into that, this is the, what we come back with as a best practice. And what more we're encouraging more companies to do is to provide, to, to pick up the phone more, but those, even for those large companies that have a lot of scale that have to deal with a lot of people, even at the point of interview rejection, that they have to get through on a regular basis, pick up the phone more and give them some feedback and even recommendations on what happens next. That goes a long way and pays dividend on a much more positive impact on their business and their brand over time with the majority of folks at the end of the day, again, who aren't gonna get the job and who may be willing again to apply, refer others, and make purchases and or influence them for more consumer-based companies. It's a big difference.